Gigo's word of the day is decimation. I don't like that. Why is there an eyeball up, up the top? What if I'm not panicked IRL? What if I'm like the baddest bitch around and I'm super tough or something? Ooh, mouth of the day. Might have a gigantic elder's mouth in your inventory. Oh, it's a, it's a cool item and we love it. And you will be nice to the eldritch mouth in my inventory. I don't actually hate the bugs that much. I don't love them, but I mean, there are way fewer bugs than there used to be. Anyone uh, of any age here, because it's an 18 plus chat, it is n physically noticeable and has been. And people be like, save the bees. Oh, they're all dying. I think the answer is to have fewer humans. People will be like, maybe we should uh, move into cities more and have fewer suburbs. That's a great idea. Doesn't work as too many people, too many pesticides on crops killing off the insects. Uh, you proved my earlier point. I think you can all understand. Look, there's a problem and there are some solutions. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Do you know what decimation means? It means to reduce to 10% of the original size. People think it just means, oh, destroy. No, 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 it just means reduce. Giga's word of the day. Giga's official word of the day for today is decimation. You know how bi-weekly could be twice a week or once every, every other week? Is that the dic dictionary definition though? Is it only to reduce by 10%? Because in certain fields, they'll actually, <laughs> they'll actually say to reduce to 10. Anyway, um, I, I think we have to kill the term bi-weekly, bi-annually. I think we have to de decimate. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, Joel, Joel just DM'd me. Greg, do you have a tweet for me to tweet? No rush, just wondering. I went to Joel's stream the other day. He had some goals. I click and I just see in the top left, it says Giga tweet, a thousand or 1500 or 2K or something. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I never heard about this. No, it's not a problem, but what does that mean? <laughs> I go to my gaming screen that totally has lots of things on it. Woo. I'm not used to the void, guys. Angler wanted the angler. He's an angry guy, like the one slurp, but mad. <laughs> oh, the art is so nice. Why don't VTubers just do their lore videos like this? No voice acting, just some images. Oh no, my boat crashed. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I have a few of the locals move ahead of you. They gave me an old ship. Uh, get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. That's right, it is a horror game. Undock, let's go. Oh, there's fish there. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Start fishing. Press F at the right time. Oh fuck, I got this. I got this. Oh yeah. Oh <gasps> god. Oh, oh, he's a little L. Oh, don't you love Tetris? <gasps> oh, you can locate them. Okay, and then it's spyglass. Could I see them on the horizon maybe? Very interesting. I don't like that. Why is there an eyeball up, up the top? Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Ah, bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. <gasps> I have a panic meter. Panic. What if I'm not panicked IRL? What if I'm like the baddest bitch around and I'm super tough or something? Research. Oh, this is where you do it. Abyssal hazel. Oh my God. I guess we're going to the abyssal zone. I can't wait to fish out a thing that'll eat me. I understand how this game could be like ridiculously addicting. <gasps> It's a little foggy. My panic is building, uh-oh. Shapes swirl inside bulging clouded eyes, blinded by the light of the surface, but perfectly suited to searching the depths. Oh. Let me tell you something. I'm a fish hater. I'm a picky eater when it comes to certain things. And I don't like fish. Not only do I not like the idea of like fish eyes, I double hate it, okay? That's so nasty. Why would you do that willingly when you're out with your dad and your dad gets a fresh kill and he's like, you know, it'd be funny if you ate this eyeball. Sometimes you're like, ha ha, yeah, I'll fucking do it. Cause it would be funny. That's just the way it is with me and my dad. Bet you won't eat this eyeball, ha ha ha. And then the other one's like, yeah, I will. Why? To prove something. Why? No reason. To prove what? Who fucking knows? To prove something just to prove something. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna get me. It's gonna eat me, isn't it? Whatever it is. What is this? Woo! What the hell is it though? Nothing happened though. It just like, it just went like... I could have voice acted that. Oh, I'm going so crazy. I'm going mad. What happens when I go insane? Okay, well, I made it. Checkmate. Everything okay? You've just been standing there for a while. Need to have a rest. Okay, creepy crabs. Ooh. Mouth of the deep. The greatest 
the greatest crab pot to have ever existed. Why do you have a gigantic eldritch mouth in your inventory? Oh, it's it's a cool item and is very great and wonderful, and we love it. And you will be nice to the eldritch mouth in my inventory. Um, for some reason your message didn't play, and I'm gonna assume that it's because you typed something wrong. All right. Are you gonna be mad if I do this? Oh yeah, you don't like that. Yeah, he doesn't like that one bit. What if I stop? Fuck. Ah. Huh? This game reminds me of the Eldritch Horror board game with the art. Yeah. I thought this would be more Eldritch scary. I'm getting what I wanted. I wanted like a fishing and exploration game. This is good. I wanted that. Great. People were making it out to be, they were like, ah, it's a Lovecraftian horror. I think people attach when someone says a term that they don't hear super often, right? And they go, this is Lovecraftian horror inspired. I think everyone goes, ah, yes, and then they adopt that as the thing in their brain that they spit out when people mention the name of the game. You hear someone describe it as that once, and then every time someone says, should I play Dredge? You go, ah, yes, ha, yes, it's a Lovecraftian hey, horror. It's millennial and Zoomer, and then what? What's what's younger than Zoomer? Alpha. I don't like that they're called alphas, though. <laughs> Let's not get it twisted. Yeah, unfortunate naming. I saw a graphic that said, if you don't remember Harambe dying, then you're Gen Alpha. <laughs> Is that the major event? Is that the one that separates them? <laughs> the world changed. How does your kid end up in the gorilla enclosure? How? Yes, yeah, definitely good parenting. <laughs> yeah, I went back to the main area so that I could start hey off by everyone. dropping off the story thing. Practicing my sea shanty skills. Mm -hmm. What do you do with a drunken shit mite? What do you do with a drunken shit mite early in the morning? Oh, it's beautiful. He did so well. <laughs> I feel like this would be the worst fate. If I was stranded on an island and there were fish everywhere for me to eat, uh, I would be super sad because I hate fish. That would be awful. Terrible. I, I, you know, I don't care if I'm surviving. I, I want red meat. Hello, sir. I have your fish. Hey. Ceremonial knife comes out again and the large heart is extracted. It's placed on stand beside the first. Real shark volcanic. Okay, okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. We're gonna sleep. Stop it. My lights. Grilled shark, grilled shark, grilled shark. Grilled shark. Wow. I could check with the spyglass. That is true. Well, I could do this. Oh, is it you? It is. They drag the shark's body around to find the right angle before plunging the knife in and pulling out the heart. They place it on the stand beside the others. Without looking at you, they take a book from inside their robe and throw it into the sand at your feet. Ah, oh, it's a book. You leave before they decide they need any more hearts. Hello, sir. Here you go. They hold the fish in front of their face, studying it with a tightening grip. Horseshoe crab. Uh, I had a million of those in my crab pots. I don't know if he's gonna want one of these, but I'm gonna grab one because it's here. Stop feeding the homeless men. I'll do what I want. They're nice to me. So you're just gonna eat this thing whole? What's your plan, sir? What's your plan? The figure turns the crab over to expose its soft underbelly. They scoops out its innards. <laughs> With sharp fingernails, consuming them blindly, consume the sky. <gasps> Barrel eye. Oh, uh, I don't think I've gotten one before, but it might have been the shape that was over here. That's all cool. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. Well, that looks like a dude with a little big head. Yeah. Oh, 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 it's the ones that have, um, yeah. The fucked up eyes, dude. Here's your delicious barrel eye. The figure begins to consume the fish head first. What? <laughs> Not with this jello head. Gnashing teeth searching for the heart of the thing. When the fish is halfway gone, they stop and throw it aside. They take a book from inside their robe and give it to you. Fisherman, deep calls. Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluid in their lungs. I love the whispers. Hey. <laughs> Yellow cab. <laughs> Okay, you know the taxis in New York are called yellow cabs? What if I make like a bizarro OC and it's just yellow cab, but like Cabal, and I, I, it's just him, but like his mouth and eyes are purple. And Cabal will be like, that's not a real character. And I will just, I will just push that he's my OC. And I'll be like, it has nothing to do with you. His name's Cab, yellow cab, <laughs> P-ball. <laughs> yellow cab, I love him. And it's, it's just Cabal, but with a New York accent. You just wanna live in a houseboat? Well, you could do that in San Francisco. Huh. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forwards in response. Hmm. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. <laughs> it's me! 
The Book of the Deep is in your hands. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Do I resurrect my dead wifey? I am making haste. I'm literally making haste. I'm making so much haste, it's crazy. Right here. This is the place. To release a lost one, frozen in time. You throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, throw the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. Throw the ring. Open the door to the starry heavens. Slot the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, its key left unturned. That's spooky. And then our wife becomes a kraken and eats us, I hope. Uh, the seeds are getting a little rough, guys. Uh. That sure is her body. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Ooh, it's a big old face. It's got eyeballs. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you get your wife back. Everything's fine. This is fine. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> You awakened the ancients. <gasps> oh, fuck, it's on fire. <laughs> it's okay, at least I got one bitch. All right, here, let's let's go and do the, the other ending now. This is the place. And it's just me. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. Funk. Die. Foul book. Uh, does it sink? <laughs> it kind of looked like it was floating. <laughs> it kind of looked like it. Oh! Bye! 